Okay, so to teach you the proper way to do one by ones or 20 ones, however you want to call them, because we're doing seven of each of the three positions. First of all, we like you don't have to have this, it's a crutch. What we do is we pull it across your hips when you're laying flat on your back, so you'll notice that puffs out the chest and brings your shoulder blades, your scapulas together at the back. So you're having good posture while you're doing these exercises. So when we lay on our back, if you can get in the habit of just puffing that chest down, bringing those shoulders together, great. Otherwise, use this, pull it down across your hips to help you hold that position. This is not the exercise. All it is is getting your chest and mid back to the right position. Then you're tucking your chin and raising your head up, letting your head touch, fully disengage. Now you'll notice you can see my whole shoulders, neck all relax. You turn 20 degrees, tuck the chin, curl the head up. These are head curls, not this. This is already the problem that most people have is anterior head carriage. Now you'll notice if I go too far, if I go more than 20 degrees, the sternocleidomastoid kicks in. This is not the muscle we're trying to get. So we want to make sure we're only doing straight, fully disengage, turn 20 degrees, head curl, fully disengage. So we're working these muscles. And then of course the other side, and we do 21. They are not head bobs. This is also incorrect. You gotta go slow with these. So you fully disengage those neck muscles, tuck the chin, head curl, fully disengage, turn 20 degrees, tuck the chin, head curl, fully disengage, tuck the chin, head curl. Just 20 degrees. That's it. Good luck.